to see. A lot of them didn't know they were leaving when they left, so they would not have taken the time to gather all of their equipment. This discovery happened by accident. When Kevin came in to see me and he was looking for a thesis topic, I said, Kevin, I've got a project for you. I said, it'll be easy. We won't find anything. You'll get this thesis done in a hurry and move on and, you know, get your master's. Georgia Southern grad student Kevin Chapman took on the project and using watercolors painted by a former prisoner, stumbled onto the site. On the very first day of the survey, we, within about 20, 30 minutes, found a U.S. large scent. To find one of those meant that the site was fairly pristine. Yeah, Kevin, can you tell me about this, what we're seeing here? Uh, what we're looking at here is what we call a feature. It's really just a stain in the soil. And as you can see, it is square-shaped, and that's exciting to us because nature doesn't do square. This stain right here could be, possibly, where a timber has been cut and squared off and sunk into the ground and deteriorated and left a trace there for us to find today. Each shovelful unearths a new discovery. Buttons, a key, a picture frame, a pipe from Scotland, a coin from Argentina, treasures that once belonged to prisoners so far from home. But what have you learned about these people? Has there been anything that surprised you? Absolutely. The, um, the amount of ingenuity that we're seeing in the artifacts, their will to survive, the levels of society that they developed within their environment. This side is about the little people, the privates, the men who fought in the front lines, the men whose names didn't get recorded by history. That's what we're doing is telling their story. That was an incredible story. Uh, so I, I'm just curious, how rare is it to find a Civil War site that hasn't already been looted? It's, it's almost impossible because, I mean, when it comes to American history, and you know, Americans love their history, uh, one of the things that remains very popular is Civil War history. So when, when there is some kind of site, a lot of people get their metal detectors, they go out there, they scour the site, and they want to find artifacts. And unfortunately, many places are pretty much combed through. So now it's out there. I mean, is it a target now, do you think? I or? think it might be. I know they're watching it very, very carefully. They want to. They're, they're trying to keep as many artifacts as they possibly can. They hope to have a museum. They should have a, a, a great place for people to visit. Hopefully the next 20 to 30 years. What was the most interesting thing that you saw there? The most compelling thing is just seeing these artifacts and knowing that that belonged to a young man. You know, a young guy in, in, in the prime of his life and, and the, just the nightmare of a situation he was going through, but just that connection that here we are 150 years later, but you have that one item that connects you into the past. Wow, it's amazing. Uh, thank you, Reynolds. Great you story. Students